another busy day in the maintenance department. Oil drains, steering and suspension work, a few electrical repairs, and several brake jobs. Every minute counts, and every dollar invested in replacement parts will ultimately be measured down to pennies per mile. This is especially true of friction products. Fleets are under intense pressure to meet safety requirements and maximize product performance and durability. You can increase the bottom line value of your friction investment by isolating and eliminating the most common causes of premature lining wear. And all of the answers you're looking for can be found right here at the maintenance shop in the core bank. The core bank is the ultimate source of truth when it comes to determining how a friction product is performing under real life conditions. It's important to read your cores to uncover any problems that might be affecting performance and service life. This fleet's core bank reveals several common signs of premature lining wear and other issues. First and most common friction issue is a cracked lining, like this one. The North American out of service criteria define a cracked lining as a cracker void that is observable on the edge and wider than 1 16th of an inch, or a crack observable on the edge that is longer than one and a half inch. Some friction suppliers are gonna tell you that cracked lining is unavoidable. Some will point to problems like rust jacking, imperfect shoe table, poor reline quality, or a lack of specialized coating as the root causes of cracking. We don't agree. The most common reasons for cracked lining is inadequate product quality, and particularly a lack of strength and flexibility. A brake block needs to be both strong enough to provide powerful stopping and flexible enough to withstand shoe table rust issues and heat concerns. Here's another common problem. A shoe that's been contaminated by oil from a failed oil seal. Once a shoe's been contaminated with oil, it should not be reused. Federal Mogul Motor Parts recommends that you replace it with a new, relined shoe. So just as quality should always come first when choosing brake linings, be sure to invest in top quality seals from a trusted manufacturer. Heat damage is another avoidable problem. Surface cracking like this can be caused by excessive heat, which means there's a problem on at least one of this fleet's vehicles. Excessive heat may be tied to out-of-specification brake component problems, driver issues, or the use of an incorrect friction material. Glazing is another common problem, usually related to the use of wrong material for the application. Other causes include poor brake adjustment, an air pressure issue, and insufficient friction contact. The core bank is the source of truth when it comes to assessing brake performance. And sometimes the truth can help you implement new maintenance practices that will help improve product life and reduce cost per mile. Identifying hidden brake issues though is like any forensic science. You've got to examine all the signs to determine what's really happening on the vehicle. And there's no better way to do that than by diving into the core bank. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out each segment in this video series as we follow the roadmap to great stopping.